Let me get cozy. That's better, right? Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hi if you're new here, my name is Callum, nice to meet you. And a special hello today to the girlies. If you don't know what I'm referencing, last night Instagram brought out a new feature in the UK. I think it was already out in America because I did see that James Charles was already doing it. And it's basically called Chat Broadcast Channel, I think. And you can name your own and then it puts it out to all your followers. I just love my hair right now. Why do I always come out of my hair? And I may as well just fucking shave it off at this point. Um, it puts it out to all your followers. People can join if they want. Over a thousand of you guys joined last night alone, which is mind-blowing. Hopefully we keep growing the family and the group chat. I'm having so much fun with it and so many of you guys have sent me in nice messages and honestly brightened up my day. I've not read DMs and things like that for so long, so I'm really hoping Instagram keeps this going as I know they can be a bit fluky with things they bring in and out. So fingers crossed this time because I know everybody that's currently using it is loving it. But basically I had the idea to ask the group chat some questions or more so let them ask me questions. I said to them they can be as nosy as they want, as juicy as they want and I will answer all of the questions. I didn't really think I'd get that many. Well I knew I'd get quite a few but I'm talking, scroll, 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 so I'll do my best to get through them, but I just wanted literally such a, I'm, I'm literally sat with my blanket, just chilling on my wall, do you know what I mean? I might actually bring a pillow here to this side of me. So, I'm just going to get super comfy and answer your burning questions to get to know me a little bit better. I'm currently quite ill, so... If I sound a bit husky, a bit manly, I'm saying that I'm literally a 22 year old male, does that not make me a man? I'm pretty sure it does. Then that is why and I hope we can all excuse it. But enough rambling, I'm just super excited to sit down and film this video. I've, I don't think I've actually done a sit down video on my own yet. It's either been a vlog or a sit down video with someone. So I'm super excited to just sit down and ramble on, let you guys know what you want to know. So I hope you enjoy and let's get into the video. Before I start, guys, I'm not going to lie, speak about these face masks all king time on Instagram. I tell no lies, I use them all the time. It's the Hado Labo Moisturising Facial Sheet Mask, super high, super hyaluronic acid. These are just the ones I use, they have loads of different ones. My mum uses, there's an anti-aging and stress relief, and they are only £3.29. This is going to look so funny. Whenever I pass a super drug, without fail, I will always pick at least one of them up. The other day I went into my local super drug and cleared the shelves. Because I'm so sorry, but for £3.29, this has got me sitting right. I can't believe I'm sitting filming a YouTube video like this. But yeah, this skincare is actually exclusive to super drug in the UK, I believe. So I think that's the only place you can get it if you do want it. Anyway. Let's get on to some questions. I'm basically going to answer some of the personal ones first and then some of the makeup ones after. Also, I just want to say, I do know that I said a few of you guys had sent me such kind messages, but I do actually want to include some because it really made my day. I've been DMing so many of you guys, Pat, like my DMs are literally full from where I've been conversating with you guys. I'm really trying to keep on top of it and speak to more of you. Why does that sound like I live in the seaside? I absolutely do not. One of the messages actually that I really do want to read, it was so nice. Hi, I'd just like to say I enjoy watching your videos on YouTube. They make me laugh so much, so thank you for being such an enjoyment to this world. I was nearly crying at Starbucks, getting my coffee late, like, honestly. Hey Carl, the group chat is giving me life. Hi, just letting you know that you have made me smile with your group chat. Like, they're just... <laughs> I literally love you all. Let's just answer some easy ones first. Favourite drink on a night out is going to be vodka lemonade because it's just an easy drink to drink. Do you know what I mean? It's not sick, clear. Like, if I drank vodka coke, I know Saf drinks vodka coke, which when we first ever like went out together, we was in Italy and she was drinking vodka coke. I was mind blown. I was thinking, vodka coke? Crazy. Vodka lemonade, easy drink, doesn't make you feel ill. Does the job. How did you and your boyfriend meet? We actually did answer a lot of questions regarding me and him in our answer i can't remember what the title of the video was it's a video on my channel a few weeks ago with me and billa 
where he's basically like helping you with your dilemmas and doing a Q&A. So if you want to check that out and know anything else about me and Billet, then you can definitely find that. Oh, look at me. Stunning. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm so serious. You can definitely find everything you want to know about me and Billet over there. So, in that video. Such a good video, actually. I was getting a lot of letters text in the group chat, God. I wish I could, but I actually can't. There is no option for me to do that. That's why I've been replying to so many of your DMs. Someone just sent the cat paw. Now, may I say, this is so iconic. I love you and I love your cat, basically. Your favourite moment of your influencing career so far? I say influencing because I don't know. It's just a ah, scary word. Seeing myself in te Tesco and Boots, like, to be honest, that was crazy for me, especially Tesco. I was considering I do makeup, I was more excited about seeing myself in Tesco than I was seeing myself in Boots. That It was wild. I'll actually post a picture here of me with myself in Tesco. I was mind blown. Someone just put your crying face after just failing your test is just with laughing faces. I actually posted a picture in the group chat of me straight after failing my driving test. I'll also expose myself and put that here. Um, such a funny picture. Everyone was like putting sad faces to it. I was like, guys, you can laugh. Like, I also find it really funny. How many times did it take you to pass following on from the driving crap? I've still not passed, guys. In fact, even worse than not passing. My theory has now run out as well, so. Is there any hope for me in this world? Possibly not when it comes to driving. Was I born to be a passenger princess? Probably. How did you become friends with Anna and Byron? I get asked this so much, but I'm going to answer it for you guys. Basically, I become friends with Anna and Byron because I already knew Haz from years ago, from when she was in a makeup girly era. She followed me, I followed her, and then, fun fact, I think, I think she actually unfollowed me and then unfollowed her. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't know why. I'm just, people don't follow people. It really wasn't anything big. And then, I was going to an ISO clean event that they was already at with Stephen Bartlett. It was like a motivational speech type thing. I really like Stephen Bartlett. I know Anna loves Stephen Bartlett. So we was both at the event and my sister watches Anna. Now I will never, ever, ever, ever go up to someone and ask them for a picture or like my them. I just feel like you're in your space with your friends. Enjoy it. I no matter it, I've passed Tyson Fiore. I've passed Logan Paul. Like, I've walked past these people, I would, I just am not the type of person that would stop someone to ask them for a picture. But I know that my sister liked Anna's videos, so I just wanted to catch my sister off guard and be like, Hi, look who I'm with. So I went over to Anna and I was like, just want to say, I don't know what, I can't remember what I said. I was just like, my sister likes your videos, like, probably like, my sister likes your videos. Um, would you mind if we took a selfie and just sent it to her? Thank you so much. And Anna is genuinely one of the sweetest people ever. Like, she would never deny anyone that, ever. So, she was just like, yeah, yeah, of course, let's get a pic. So, we got a selfie and sent it to my sister. And then before I left, Haz was like, Haz was to the side, I didn't really notice. And then Haz was like, oh my god, I feel like I know you. And I was like, I feel like I know you. Turned out, of course, like I said, we did know each other. And then I just said to Anna, I don't know if you have a makeup artist down here, but... I do makeup, if you're ever looking for someone to do your makeup down here, aka Manchester, let me know and I will do it. Basically, we organised it, I ended up doing it, then she booked me for one of her campaigns with Foot Asylum, and then another one, and then on the second one, there was going to kind of this, like, skirt sitter, and we'd been on about how much we both love Halloween, and she was like, why don't you come tonight? So I went, then I met... Byron and had I already met Jazz and Soph? Possibly. Then I met like Byron, Callum, Jazz, Soph and everyone else. And then we just become friends. We're actually going to that same school city thing next week together. How did you find school? I'm in my second last year of second year and really struggling. It just depends what you mean like in terms of academically or just school experience as a whole. I literally hated school. I was actually bullied quite badly, so I just had no enjoyment in it. My mum actually took me out of school for a few months once because it got so bad. And I was, like, having to be homeschooled. It was just a whole thing. So I really didn't enjoy school. But I just tried to keep my head down and do my best because I had some things go on with my family midway through high school. And it kind of just knocked me off my tracks. And I'd become really naughty. And 
I was actually quite an academic kid, which is funny enough because I'm so unacademic now, like I'm actually quite dumb. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I misspell everything. I was on first time to Haz and Haz was literally like, Callum, will you start please will you please start spell checking things before you put them everywhere because everything I put in this group chat was probably misspelled. But I just went really naughty, didn't really concentrate, which I regret so much. And then as I got towards the like back end of school and the later years, then I started to put more effort in and concentrate again. I feel like if you just get your head down and concentrate on your work and just kind of ignore everything else that's get going on around you, then that is probably like your best bet to just get through it, if that makes sense. Someone asked who gets drunk the fastest, and I don't know because this same person asked quite a few questions in regards to like me, Anna Byron, Haz, Cal, Jadsov, all of those guys, but the picture is me and Billy. So out of me and Billy, it would be me. But if you mean out of our like friendship group, it would probably be Anna. But she could get drunk the fastest, she doesn't get drunk the fastest. I probably get drunk faster because she's very much aware of her how much alcohol she can intake so she won't like drink as fast as I will because she knows she is a lighter weight, lightweight like I don't know how, not a lightweight, what's the like she just gets drunk easier what is the paper airplane on your hand for? I love this question because I love speaking about my tattoos someone also asked how many tattoos I have and I have 11 all over but the paper airplane on my hand is because this is the hand I do make it with fun fact I'm actually left handed Still don't know my left and right. Again, I literally I'm just quite dumb. Um But the paper aeroplane on my hand is because I before I did makeup I hadn't travelled or even been in an aeroplane for like um oh, it might have been nine years, ten years. That was just a situation basically. And then when I started doing makeup and I could kind of afford to take myself or I was presented with opportunities that flew me to a different place then I got the paper airplane because this hand and doing makeup with this hand allowed me to travel pretty much the same reason I have grateful on this hand because it's hand I do makeup with and I'm grateful for every opportunity this hand has ever presented me with it's a bit bizarre to be quite a hand like that but that that situation and this grateful is my favorite tattoo ever opposite my hand so pretty. What's been your greatest achievement in life so far? That was quite a hard one. Because I've already spoke about like career achievement, I want to kind of just speak about personal. I actually don't know. I'll maybe come back to that if I can think of an answer because right now off the top of my head, I can't. If you had one wish, what would it be? It would just, so cheesy, but honest answer. It would just to be happy and content. Like that is something you can genuinely not put a price on. Just to be happy and content. Yeah. That would literally be it. I just love you. I love you too, bro. I just said when to meet and greet. I'm so sorry, girl. You do not want to meet and greet me. I am actually so borderline irrelevant that, like, I will text you my home address and you can come and meet me. Now, I'm going to go on to some of the makeup questions. I'm going to do quick fire because a lot of them do just require a quick fire answer. But Holy Grail makeup product or products your makeup always looks flawless. Tips? Question mark. HMB Cosmetics Foundation and Concealer with the Givenchy Prism Libre Powder is a combination you're never ever 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 gonna be like your bases literally gonna look ridiculous. What's your tips on when you're feeling like a feeling and you were? I definitely did experience this feeling a lot when I was first starting out, but it's just an oversaturated market. You need to make sure that you're doing exactly what you want to do because I feel like nowadays following trends and things like that because so many people are doing it at once, it's so hard to stand out unless you literally like already have like a huge platform where loads of people are going to see it at once anyway. But just do something that stands out. Do something that feels right for you. I personally know I can and I feel like a lot of other people can. You can read content through a form like if it's four star if it's something you've genuinely loved and enjoyed doing a lot of people are more than likely going to interact with that more i know i would as well so what inspired you the most to do makeup i love you i love you too kayla thank you so much for the question um i would say i've just i've my dad that's not as raw and real like my dad just wasn't really around that much of a, as a kid it, like when i was younger he was always working and then him and my mum separated so they're just always around girls so i always seen them do it and i'm quite an artsy creative person so maybe like two and two put together is how i ended up coming into makeup and my sister used to have 
what I thought was like a huge makeup collection is probably like not in comparison to the fact I have a full fucking room for it nowadays. But at the time it was like, oh my god, and she had like Elf and all these products that American YouTubers that I watched were using. So I used to go in when she was out and like play with the makeup and then like try and scrub it off before anyone come back. I probably definitely got caught in the act, but how do you get your makeup so spotless? I literally can't. I take hours and hours and hours on every single step that I do. My eyebrows alone take an hour on my face, probably take like an hour and a half. Just small steps and build up. Like as soon as you put too much on, then like it's already done for. But if you go slow and kind of work your way through it, then that's how you get like a really clean aesthetic. Oh, this is a personal one, but I'm going to answer it really quick. Do you believe in twin flames, soulmates, etc.? I really do. I feel like Billy is my twin flame, honestly. That I have so much love for that boy. I can't even tell you. It's so embarrassing, but he'll just be lying asleep next to me at night. And I'm just looking at him like, I love you. Like, it makes me emotional. I can't believe I just said that on camera, but that's the truth. Best makeup products to cover spots I suffer on my chin area. Concealer goes dry and cruster. Mm. I'm really bad for my skin at the minute, like it is struggling, but the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, like the one in the pot, is really good. It is a drier formula, but it isn't drying, if that makes sense. So I'd maybe try that and just hydrate the area first. The best foundation, H&B Cosmetics, so no questions asked. How did you build your social media accounts? Literally consistency. I was posting 24 seven, never missed a day posting. And this was at like the height of Instagram. I've not grown Instagram for a while now. And I feel like that's the same with everyone, whether they've got 10K followers, 100 followers, or a million followers, or 100K followers, whatever it is. I just feel like people don't really grow that much anymore. What's your favorite setting spray? If it's to keep makeup on, it's the Krylon fixing spray. Like that literally, your makeup is going no way. There we go guys, I hope I answered some of your questions, there was literally so many. As much as I wanted to get through them all, I actually physically couldn't, but I do hope I give you guys some answers that you wanted to know. And I really enjoyed filming this, it was so chill, I'm literally just sat on my bed like all cosy, even though I have a fan on. I've got my autumn candle on, that I just bought from TK Maxx. And yeah, it was just lovely to sit down and speak to you guys, I hope you learn a little bit about me that you may or may not have even wanted to know. But thank you so much again for watching. If you did enjoy, then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me, I want to see more of you, then please do subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know what you would like to see next. Thank you all. Love yous.